The adoption of Infinito in Western Australia in particular has been very good. It just provides that perfect rotation partner. Definitely in Southwest WA, particularly around Manjmup, most of the diseases that we can see, particularly this time of year, is white blister in Brassica. White blister can be particularly costly with how quickly it can spread because it's a weekly planting. If it's in one crop and then can be moving on the wind in the next crop and the one after that quite quickly. What we see is the deformation of the heads and we see the blistering or the popping of the heads. Given the market that we're in, in horticulture, we want our product to look good. And when white blister affects those crops, it has a big effect on being able to sell that produce. So we're growing about three hectares every week. About 140,000 plants every week. Yeah, our rainfall is, we would say, about 850 mil on average. Our real disease pressure comes when it's humid. If we're starting against cloud streams coming from the northwest, high humidity, high temperature, and because our plants are at around 47,000 plants per hectare, high foliage mass, so that means can be high disease pressure. Since Infinito has come into the market, it's had a really good fit for particularly in Southwest WA, really in that later crop stage. The two actives of the product, it's got very good crop safety and being translaminar as well has had a really good effect and found it over older chemistry on the market. The older chemistry still does have its fit, but we find Infinito in particular at this stage of the crop now, really good. With the translaminar activity, it makes it really good for growers and it gives them that confidence that having that activity that when they're spraying on the top of the leaf, we know that it will push through to the other side. And typically if we see white blister on that bottom side of the leaf, which we do, we know it's going to get through and have some activity on there. So with Infinito, when that crop is high and it's quite lush, it's perfect product to use at that time. The Infinito is being applied at 1.6 litres a hectare in that 750 litres a hectare of uh, water volume. White blister is pretty tricky. It hides not on the top of the leaf, but underneath on the bottom side of the leaf. To get good control, you need to use high volumes of air to roll the crop around and coat the underside of the leaf. I love the fact that there's no withholding period on the product itself. Easy liquid to measure, it pours easy, it does stay in solution very well. It's good chemistry, it's effective, it's repeatable and reliable, because I know I can trust it. I still base my program around a product called uh, Ritimal Gold. That's the foundation, and then I'd put in a couple of other ones around it, but Infinito has probably allowed us to come in late. If you use uh, Ritimal, for instance, too late in the crop, you can change the colour of the head. So they go from green to brown, which is not very attractive. We sell on appearance, so it's got to look good. So I use Movento a lot. I really love Movento for its two-way translocation through the plant. And I know it works so well because sometimes I didn't do it. And it's like, holy hell, what happened? One of the biggest battles with most of these chemicals is actually get them into the plant and moving through the plant. Movento is absolutely brilliant at that. Growers, in my opinion, should really look at Infinito as part of their white blister management strategy, particularly later in the crop. General feedback from growers has definitely been the ease of use, flyable formulation, the effect that it has that it's, it stops blister in its tracks. When we look at a perfect rotation partner, definitely. When it stacks up with actual cost per hectare, it's well within the ballpark of other products on the market. So it's, it's a no-brainer.